Hello everyone and welcome to my little corner. In this video, you already know, we're trying candy and snacks from Russia this time. This is from Universal Yums and this is a subscription box. I will have the link to their website in the description of this video so you can check them out if you want to and this is not sponsored by the way. So yeah, let's open up this box and see what awaits us from Russia. Also in here, it says the birthplace of Tetris. Did you know that's where Tetris came from? Oh, I know. Russia? Fun fact. Mm. And at the end of the video, we're gonna cast some votes deciding what's best, the worst, and stuff like that. A booklet with fun facts and information about the snacks if we need to know more about them. And first off, we see a very flat Pack. There's literally no air left in this package, so I don't know how that happened. Maybe there's a hole somewhere. Usually chips come in a very, you know, puffy bag. Okay, so this is... It's all in Russian. I'm looking for English somewhere. Snacks grid with the taste of onion. Alright. Okay, first of all, onion, just no. I don't like the onion taste. No, okay. Second, I noticed something and I don't know if it's supposed to be like this, but usually chips are like very crispy and light. And these kind of have the texture of chips that are kind of old and they lost, they lost the crispiness and they're kind of like dull. Okay, next up, we have another bag that's very flat and airless. And this is shish kebab flavored potato sh chips. Oh, these look like fun chips. Look, they look so cute. Mm. <laughs> it's like a little circle, but they're kind of like a shell. Mm. That's interesting. Like so, okay, so these are crispy and light, unlike the other one. But the taste is kind of weird. Okay, continuing with chips. We have a smaller chip. And there's a salmon and cheese on the picture. Salmon and cheese rye breadsticks. Oh, it's breadsticks, not chips. But it's salmon and cheese. Why would you put those together though? Oh my. Super, super crispy. Whoa. I taste the salmon. And the cheese. <laughs> and I taste the cheese. <laughs> I don't like this one. This is soup, a super weird combination no. that does not go together. It's like, it's no. like a fishy cheese. We have another mini packet of more of those breadsticks. The same ones, but a different flavor. I don't even know what's in the picture. Maybe pineapple? I don't know what that is. Meat jelly and horseradish rye breadstick <laughs> is, is made with pig, cow, or chicken feet suspended in a feet? gelatin base and traditionally <laughs> topped with spicy mustard and uh, horseradish. <laughs> <laughs> what? Feet? The taste of feet? Feet! Oh my god. No. <laughs> what is this? I can't do it. You, you want to trash this one? And we have two roll cakes, and these look like a roll, a rolled cake. Exactly that. And it seems like there's chocolate in it, so I think this is gonna be good. Well, that looks good too. It looks good. The bottom has cake. like a chocolate fudge, like it's dipped in the bottom in chocolate. Nice. Mm. Chocolate rolls, huh? Very good. I've had exactly this type of cake. Almost mm. same flavor before. This it's is the good. best out of all of this. So far. It's very fluffy and soft. Very good. Okay, next up we have a chocolate bar. And this seems to have... Oh, it's not strawberry. It's... 
either an orange or a pomegranate. Oh, grapefruit. Grapefruit. I'll grapefruit chocolate bar. Take like a small bite. I oh, it's like a jelly. Oh man. Um. Uh, mm. Oh my. Uh -oh. Mm. No. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how you can still have it. Well, I couldn't do that. I see these two sticks, which are the same. Yeah, so we're gonna, gonna take one. And let me see what this is. Red October crepish, crepish, soft toffee with peanuts. No. It's very milky. Definitely very milky. Um, I just don't like the. Taste of the toffee though. It's like it's not sticky. It's almost like those uh, shortbreads that kind of crumble in your mouth. The whole thing is just weird. It's all right to me. Not bad, but not that good either. Okay, moving on, I see something that looks like it's gonna be another hit. And the little cute little cow is here again. So these are baked milk taste with glazed bon bottom biscuits. So it's just biscuits with chocolate on one of the sides. Whoa, they're like massive. Oh. It's a massive biscuit. <laughs> Tastes exactly like a biscuit with chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on, we have something rather interesting. And it says gingerbread cake with baked milk and honey flavored filling. Again, this is all one piece of a cake. <laughs> and it's quite hard. Oh. Wait, what? not as bad as I thought it would be. Even though it feels hard, it's actually very soft when you actually bite into it. Do you like it? It's all right. <laughs> not, not the best. Two of these. Is the same? It's the same. It looks like it's the same thing, but it's different colors. So... That's why I'm kind of like, is it really the Hi, same? Let me see. This that's is a light purple, this is a dark purple package. Can Maybe that's just many effect. Oh no. Black currant zephyr. Chocolate covered black currant marshmallow. Remember the black currant fiasco that we had before? It was like the worst thing we've ever tasted. It looks like a little dome. That reminds me of chocolate with marshmallow in America. I mean, the marshmallow would already be bad enough for me, but the black currant, I'm very... Yeah, I'm not, I already know I'm not that good. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't even know what black currant is, but it's so strong. And it's... It tastes so bad. Please don't put this in food, ever. And finally, we are up to the yum bag. And this this bag is filled with usually like hard candy and little candy like this, so. Okay, so I see that they gave us a thousand of these. <laughs> a thousand, <laughs> always exaggerating. <laughs> these are juicy light peach and apricot jelly. Chocolate covered fruit jelly candy. Oh, it is chocolate. Oh my gosh. Okay, next up we have four of uh, something cute with a squirrel. Forest fairy. Forest fairy honey peanut delight chocolate covered honey and peanut candy. 
Mm. It's very hard and chewy. It's not bad. These are, oh, caramel dreams. Caramel. Why? I like caramel. Caramel with lemon fondant and jam. Caramel. <laughs> <laughs> you could the whole thing? It's hard. You oh. can't bite it. I can't taste anything yet. I'm starting to taste the lemon. Yeah, it just tastes like those halls. Oh, no. Those fruity candies. Yeah, it kind of tastes like halls. I don't taste the caramel. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we finished tasting everything. So now we are going to cast our votes. Okay, so we just put our votes in. And I'm going to start. And my best yum is the roll cake. Very good. The runner up is the biscuits where's the biscuits the biscuits and the worst yum for me is the black currant mess that this is please never please stop putting black currant just stop using it it's horrible <laughs> and the most unusual yum for me is the salmon and cheese that's a unusual combination and also a bad one and what are your votes? My best is the same as yours. Yes. Oh, really good. Runner up, I like this chips right here. Which is the. Uh, I don't know the that. The worst is this. The little pig feet. With pig feet and what? The other one? Something else. Uh, horseradish. Oh, yeah, that's really bad. And the unusual is just because it tastes unusual. Really unusual to me. Just you know, tasting it. Coffee. Talking. Coffee. And last thing for this video uh, is revealing the clue for next month's box. So, are you excited? Let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, so here's a clue for next month. This country is small, but there's a whole lot to see. Streets made of water and blue pottery. Blue plus pralines, sweet waffles, and large wheels of cheese. You'll be sad when it's over and leave saying more please. Okay, so the key words are streets made of water and blue pottery. Plus pralines. Pralines, I don't know how to say that, but it's like a it's like a cake or chocolate thing. Sweet waffles and large wheels of cheese. Where does like the big like cheese, where does it mainly come from? A country that's known for cheese. Could it be like Venice? Like where they have the boats where people take trips at, you know, in the water? I don't know if that's in the middle of the streets. If it's Venice, then that means it's Italy. Blue pottery. It could be Italy or my other guess, maybe Switzerland. So this is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching us trying these snacks from Russia. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe because I will see you next time. Bye bye.